Hey everybody, I wanna to talk to you today about micro niching. When most people approach me in the government contracting market and I say, well, who do you wanna to sell to? They say, the government, you know, and the government is huge. And what I always have to do is say, let's start to bring it in and start to focus on a couple of agencies. Then when we find our agencies, let's start with one and start to drill down deep inside of that. Because here's the deal. Most agencies, in fact, everyone I've ever looked at, has all of these different silos underneath them. And each little silo has its own project team and there's other, you know, what we call grassroots level leaders, program managers, all those kind of things. And they all have their own projects and their own focus, their own goals, all those kind of things underneath whatever agency, whether it's the CDC, USDA, DOD. When you get under the DOD, you break it out, and now you're talking about Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, all those different ones all have their own specific goals and things. Then you go down another level, and so let's say we go to Fort Hood. Fort Hood has two divisions there. So you've got um, First Cav and you've got 4th Infantry Division. They have their own goals, their own set of things they're working on, projects, all that kind of stuff, their own procurement things. And so if we approach it as the government or even you know DOD, that's still at the macro level. It's very difficult to niche yourself in one of those at that high level. So the trick here is to look at, say, for example, the Army and say, hey, I'm going to go Fort Hood, 4th Infantry Division, and I'm going to target the G2 because the G2 buys the stuff that we sell, and that's where I want to focus on. And so that's my grassroots level. And who are those contracting officers over there? Maybe there's only two or three. So now I'm focused on two or three contracting officers. I'm focused on a handful of grassroots level people, and I'm really laser targeted in, now I am actually micro niched into an area. And see, once I get that, then I could say, hey, let's sell to the G3 and the six and the whatever. And so now I can build a model for how I engage a client at the micro level. And once I've done that, and I'm actually successfully selling to all of those little funnels or silos or whatever you want to call them, inside of that micro level, I can then take that and duplicate it at, say, First Cav. Then I could go to another base, Fort Benning or wherever. I could take that same strategy and go there and start to implement that strategy again. And so what it does is it allows you to just target all of your attention into one area with a handful of people, a handful of different targets, and now you can maximize your time and you should be able to accelerate your sales because guess what? If you sell to the G2, now you've got a story to tell to the G3. But if you sell to the G2 at, at uh, say, 4th Infantry Division, and now you try to go to another base and sell to their G2, you've got to start your story all over again. So instead of starting your story all over again, sell within that agency. So when we've looked at, again, I'll bring up the CDC, DOE, um, you know, they have different labs and things like that. I think there's 16 labs in DOE. Again, you go deep into one, and then you go to the next one. Same with CDC. I think there's uh, five or six major program offices within the CDC. You go down one of those silos, and then you duplicate it to go to the next one and the next one before you go outside of the CDC to like the WHO or whatever. Um, but that strategy is the same whether you're selling to anyone in the government really, or whether it's federal government, state and local, education, whatever it may be, it's the same strategy. So we micro niche initially to get sales, past performance, become the preferred vendor. Then we duplicate that as we go to each agency. And it'll just make your life easier. So try this. If you have any questions, as always, you know how to reach me. We'll see you next time.